the Canon EOS 3 is a great 35mm film SLR which is especially good if you shoot on a Canon digital SLR and already have EF lenses. I bought my Canon EOS 3 body back in 2014 in excellent condition for about 170 US dollars and six years later it's still going strong. And although now it's naturally gone up in sale price to about 300 US dollars in terms of eBay listings I still think it's a worthwhile investment, especially if you do already shoot on a Canon digital SLR system and have a few lenses to put straight onto it. So this way you get the benefit of an amazing range of Canon EF mount lenses, whether they're older or more modern ones with things like image stabilization. Image stabilization will work if the lens has it on their Canon EOS 3 body, although it may not work in self timer or bulb mode, it's still really useful to have that feature on a 35mm film camera. Overall, I've really enjoyed using my Canon EOS 3 over the years. It has a big and solid build, so maybe keep that in mind if that's not for you but I personally like the form factor and find the camera to be really ergonomically designed and very easy to transition back and forth between my Canon digital bodies like my 6D or 5D back to this camera. Now controls on the camera are not as good as they could be but they're still very usable and a lot of it's just a matter of getting used to it. There's things like the wheel on the back of the camera that feels a bit fiddly at first and there's a few modes that require you to press a couple of buttons in combination. But in my experience, that was pretty easy to get used to. The EOS 3 was also unique in that it had this feature called eye control autofocus. And what this system actually does is track your pupil while you're looking through the viewfinder to select the AF point. So whichever side of the viewfinder you look on, it tries to select that AF point. And when you half press the auto focus button, you get the usual red square confirmation. This system needs to be calibrated to your eye before using it. And the more you calibrate, the more accurate it gets. At first, I thought it was a bit of a gimmick, but I actually tried calibrating the eye control system and I find it actually works pretty well. But if you prefer to select your autofocus point using the buttons and dials as usual, you can just turn eye control off altogether. The metering system on the EOS 3 is great and it works like modern DSLRs in that you have the usual three modes like spot metering, partial and evaluative. I find it very reliable which is why I often reach for the EOS 3 when I'm shooting slide film. I also tend to grab the EOS 3 when I'm testing a new film, for example when I'm doing a review and need the ultimate control and accuracy of the light meter. It has 45 autofocus points automatic loading, advancing and rewinding with two different rewind speeds. It has features like bracketing and the shutter speed goes up all the way to 1 8,000th of a second. It also has TTL flash metering and syncs at all the way up to 1 200th of a second with a flash. Canon also stated that the camera has some level of weather sealing, which is great when you combine it with a weather sealed lens. So if you shoot with a Canon DSLR, or even if you don't, and you want a solid 35 millimeter electronic type film camera, the Canon EOS 3 makes a great option. I've even relied on it at weddings and it works great in tandem with other cameras. I also love that it works with things like my Canon EF7200 lens and the same speed light I use on my Canon 5D. So some of the drawbacks besides the size and weight that I mentioned earlier are the slightly slow controls. Also, autofocus speed and accuracy naturally isn't as good as modern options, especially in low light or with third party lenses. But that's to be expected and in general shooting conditions with good lenses, I still find it to be excellent and reliable. Another thing is the sound of the shutter. Some people might find it a little bit loud and obnoxious. I actually don't mind it. And it kind of sounds like the classic camera sound effect that you would find on phones and all kinds of applications. And it makes me wonder if they got that from one of these types of cameras. The focus screen in the camera is also nice and bright, but it's not the best for using with manual focus lenses, which I sometimes like to adapt to this camera. There are, however, a bunch of different focusing screens you can get for the camera if you plan to use it only with manual focus lenses. 
Another thing I found when I bought the camera is that the eye cup would fall off quite easily and I eventually lost it in the first year that I owned the camera. I haven't gone to replace it yet, but there are options on eBay for around 10 or $20 and I think I'll order a replacement soon enough. Otherwise, it's a great camera. I highly recommend it. It works really well with Canon's great range of EF lenses. And I hope you like this review. Let me know what you think of the Canon EOS 3. Have you used any other Canon EOS or EF mount Canon bodies before? What's your opinion? Let me know in the comments. And also feel free to tag Pushing Film in your photos on Instagram. Thanks for watching this review and I'll see you on the next episode of Pushing Film. Yeah.